My name is Francis, and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube. Uh, today, I'll be making a very lovely cake called Carrot Cake. It's been a while now. Um, you know, my last live stream was last week, seven days now. So I'm happy to be back again, you know, to make a lovely live stream. Of course, today is going to be a great one. You know, I said I'm going, to, I'm going to be making a lovely carrot cake. It's going to be super soft and moist carrot cake. So my friends, sit back, relax, and enjoy while I get started to make this lovely carrot cake. I cannot wait to have it. It's going to be so moist. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you very much. So my friends, I'm back now. So I said today I will make a carrot. So I'm gonna pop my 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 recipe right on the table. Um, right here with me, I have you know unsalted butter. So I'll be using 250 grams. I'll be using a um, brown sugar, the unrefined brown sugar. A little bit of you know raisins or sultanas that's all right of course i need flour that i'll set on the side of course when we're making um, cake we need baking powder Yeah, I love I love nutmeg, so I'll be using nutmeg as well. Nutmeg. Of course, I need egg. My friends, I'll be using a couple of carrot for the carrot cake. So my friends, I said today I'll be making, you know, a lovely carrot cake. And I said it's going to be all super moist and of course, super soft. So right here on my table, you know, I have carrot. Because I want it lovely and, you know, 
full of carrot. So I'm gonna be using about five carrot. I'm gonna grate the carrot, you know, I'm gonna wash it. And after washing it, I'm gonna, you know, peel it. And after peeling, I'm gonna, you know, grate it. So I'm gonna grate it. And of course, you know, I'll be putting that in you know, at the very end, you know, to mix with my lovely cake. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Just sit back, last and enjoy, my friends. Don't leave this lovely channel. And of course, if you're just tuning in to this lovely channel, and if not, subscribe to the channel. Please do so by clicking the subscribe button. And of course, turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. So my name remains Francis by name. And of course, this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. So I'm right back again for this lovely live stream because most of my viewers have missed my live stream. You know, I, I, I you know, my last live stream was seven days ago. And of course, they missed my live stream and of course you can check out my lovely uh, you know pie i made i made nigerian pies the meat pie the chicken pie of course it's called meat pie but you know it's beef pie you know but in nigeria what we say meat pie but of course you know we have many kind of meat but it's just like a you know you know a unique name to use but it's called a beef pie you know, but if you tell someone beef pie they want you know they want you to say it's called meat pie or whatever but I made chicken pie, and of course, you know, chicken is the white meat, lovely meat. So I made chicken pie, and of course, I made fish pie. But of course, if you check out those videos, no one has ever made a very big pie like that. That's absolutely first ever I made that. Lovely pies, very big. Of course, you know, it's really amazing. So I made that, and of course, right there on my upload, you can check it out how I made my chicken pie, my beef pie, and of course my fish pie. And if you check out my Nigerian channel as well, you see I uploaded same videos, but you know, you know, different, same name but different way of making it as well. Right there on my channel. And of course, I made lovely cakes. If you can check my cakes and sweet pastries playlist, you're gonna find I made lovely types of cakes and love cakes from Italy, like the general sponge cake. I made a live stream on that. And of course, I made, you know, vanilla cake, you know, lovely chocolate cakes, you know, sponge cakes, Victoria sponge cakes. And right now I'm gonna be making a lovely carrot cake. But I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be putting that in a cupcake, but I'll be placing that in, uh, you know, in a, in a cake pan you know, a little bit bigger than the cupcake, not the cupcake one. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And you know, carrot is really healthy. Of course, carrot is good for the teeth. And of course, you know, when you put that in your cake, you know what I mean, my friends. When you when you put carrot in your cake, you know what I mean. It's gonna be absolutely amazing and absolutely sensational. Because it's gonna be absolutely, you know, you, you don't need to add milk when you're making your carrot cake because you want it super moist and super soft. So when I use my carrot, of course, it's gonna turn out that way. So my friends, of course, I'm gonna add more eggs. It depends on what quantity of eggs I'm gonna be adding, but of course, I'm gonna be using about five to six eggs on this lovely carrot cake. I don't wanna use, you know, white sugar because I wanna make something healthy because I'm adding a lovely carrot, which is fruit, you know, or you can call it a veg or whatever. A veg or a fruit, right into my lovely uh, cake. So I'm gonna be using the brown, unrefined brown sugar, which is really healthy. So I'll be using that to make a lovely cake and lovely carrot cake. But of course, I'll be adding a little bit of raisins, you know, sultanas, you know, it's absolutely amazing when you add sultanas right into your cake. So I'll be using that, my friends. And of course, my friends, I'm, I'm not using margarine, I'm using the British chocolate butter. And of course, if you check it out, it looks absolutely amazing, you know, full of flavor and full of, you know, you know, your, your butter contains milk, so it's going to give it that, you know, special taste, you know, that the cake needs. So my friends, I can't wait to have this lovely cake. It's been a while, it's been a long time, you know, over a week now, I made the live stream. But I'm right back now, and of course, I'm making something special and something unique. You know what I mean, my friends? A lovely carrot cake. Of course, when you're making your birthday or whatever, you can enjoy your carrot cake. So my friends, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm gonna get started right now. I don't wanna waste your time. I'm gonna get started and of course, make a lovely 
count it. So I said, if you are just tuning in to this lovely channel and this is your first time watching my channel, please click the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the bell so that you don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. So I made Francis by name and this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube. So I'm gonna get started now to make my lovely carrot cake. Of course, I'm gonna be using my lovely hand blender to make the carrot cake. Now, my friends, I'm gonna grab, you know, a little bit of. Uh, I need a bowl. Yeah, I need. I'm gonna pop my bowl on this lovely, you know, worktop or work surface. Right now, I need. I need a bowl. I'm gonna be mixing my cake right in this bowl and my eggs, I'm gonna be uh, beating my eggs in that bowl you know I could also beat my eggs yeah that's too big my friends, I can use that one for my eggs so I need a mixer So I'm gonna pop down one there. I'll be right back, my friend. Just a second. Thank you very much. So my friends, I'm back now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, you know, beat my eggs. So I'm gonna, you know, fix my, uh, you know, my lovely beaters. You know. So I'm gonna beat my egg now. So now my friends, I'm gonna beat my eggs. I'm gonna pop that one in the bin. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, my friends. I cannot wait to have it. Lovely carrot cake, you know what I mean, my friends? Lovely. Excellent. That's two. Three, four, five, that's five my friends. Six. I'm gonna use seven, my friend. Six. Seven eggs. That's all right, my friends. I'm gonna use seven. I'm gonna clean my box off it, my friends. And I'm gonna pop that one back in the fridge.
So my lovely friends, I'm gonna quickly, you know, beat my egg. So my friends, you can see I'm beating my eggs and of course, you know, uh, I'm going to do that until my eggs are very fluffy. My friends, you can see the egg is almost ready, almost fluffy. I'm gonna quick, you know, I'm gonna quickly do that. A quick, you know. I'll keep beating it. It's gonna be super soft, my friend. And super amazing, you know what I mean? My friends, you can see it's almost ready. I'll keep beating it. Can see my friends almost ready. So now my friends, my eggs are ready, so I'm going to set that aside. And now my friends, I'm going to quickly, you know, wash my lovely carrot. And after washing, I'm going to peel, peel it and of course, you know, grate it. So I'm going to run that in water now. Quickly. That's wash. Yeah, I'm done. So now, my friends, I'm gonna quickly. You know, peel my carrot.
that's one. That's two, my friends. Medium size. You could use about four carrot, medium size, four to five. That's all right, my friends. That's three. That's four, my friends. And the last one, five. So now, my friends, I'm going to put that one in the bin. But of course, you know, you don't throw everything in the kitchen. If you're making the gravy, you can use that for your gravy. You know what I mean? Or you're making the stock, you can use that. So now, my friends, I have my lovely carrot ready. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grate my carrot. I'm gonna cut that, cut that off, you know. I don't need that, I'm gonna cut that off quickly. I'm going to wash it again. Nice and perfect, my friends. Nice and perfect. Now I'm going to grate my carrot now. I'm going to grate that on my lovely chopping board. So I'm gonna grate that now. It could take time to grate, but you just need to be patient, my friends. So I keep doing that, my friends. You know, when you're grating, it takes lots of time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, but it's gonna be. Uh, that one, that one is the best. I'm gonna use that one. Though it's gonna take time, but you know, just keep keep doing that quickly. You know, I'll be very quick to do it. Can you see that, my friends? Very nice. Look at that, my friends. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely carrot. It's really juicy. Very nice. I love it. You know, I've, I've done, this is the second one I'm doing now. I'm creating the second carrot as quick as possible. You know, when you walk in the restaurant, then you're giving, you know, 100 carrots to grate. You know what I mean, my friends? It's not going to be easy, isn't it? 
Not easy. I'm on the second one now. Second carrot, lovely. I love it. Super moist carrot, carrot cake. Super soft, super moist. It's gonna be. I'm gonna eat that one, lovely. That's the third one now. Don't forget my friends, you use that. Don't use that one, don't use that one, but use that one. So this is gonna be a lovely grated carol. You know what I mean, my friends? It's gonna be absolutely nice, absolutely amazing, my friends. It's gonna give the cake a lovely color. You know what I mean? Anyway. Nice color. It's gonna be nice and soft, you know, and nice and moist. It's gonna be super soft, my friend. Lovely cake. I love it. Now I'm gonna grate that one now. You can use four, four, four carrots, that's all right, my friends. You can use four large ones, you know. So you see, my friend, this is a live stream. I'm showing you everything I'm gonna do it, you know. So live streams are really good. No fast forwarding. Yeah, I'm almost done, my friends. Lovely carrot. So I'll keep grating that quickly. As quick as possible, my friends. No worries. Yeah. I love carrot. Almost done, my friends. So, my friends, I'm gonna leave that one you know i will use this one for garnishing i'm gonna garnish my my carrot with that one so i'm gonna use four i'm gonna pop four into my lovely cake and i'm gonna you know use one of those you know for garnishing it's gonna be super amazing my friends So I'm done grating my lovely carrot. So what next, my friends? I'm gonna quickly mix my butter and my flour together. Uh, my butter and sugar together, beg your pardon, my friends. Now, I'm gonna grab my bowl. So I'm gonna pour that one there. And of course, my friends, I'm using my lovely uh, unsalted butter. So I'm gonna pour that straight into my lovely bowl, you know. 250 grams of that's 
250 grams of unsalted butter. No need to wait, so I'm gonna pop it there, you know, right into this lovely bowl. So that's a lovely, you know, 250 grams of butter. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do next, so uh, I'm gonna pop my sugar right in there. So I'm gonna weigh my sugar. I don't wanna add too much sugar, so I'm gonna be using 150 grams of unrefined brown sugar. You can use your own refined white sugar, that's all right, my friends. Or, you know, your normal brown sugar, you can use that, my friends. So I'm going to set that to zero and, of course, weigh my flour. I beg your pardon, and weigh my sugar, 150 grams. So that's all right, my friends. So I'm gonna quickly, that's a little bit uh, over. Yeah, that's all right, my friends. So now my friends, you know, I'm gonna pop that one aside. And of course, that's the egg. I already have, you know, eight eggs. I beg your pardon, seven eggs. Already beat seven eggs already. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly, you know, blend my lovely butter together with my um, sugar, you know, until um, they are really, you know, off white. But of course, you wanna use a uh, um, your unrefined brown sugar or of course you can use your white sugar if you want to which is really all right so my friends i'll keep beating that now until it's all right You can see uh, you need to allow your butter to you know to soften before you use it you don't want to break your blender isn't it so I'm gonna show you my friends you can see what's going on it's uh, you know getting a little bit uh, you know off-white it's really amazing, you know. I love it. Lovely sugar and butter. Really healthy. All refined brown sugar. I love it. I'm gonna try that now and see. You know, it tastes really amazing, my friends. Doing that, you yes. love it. I love it. It's almost soft, my friends. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly use my uh, lovely, uh, you know, spatula to scoop my lovely uh, butter and sugar. They look absolutely amazing, my friends. That's alright. 
So I'm gonna be that again. So my friend, I'm gonna put that away. I don't need that anymore. So my friend is almost ready. You can see that it looks absolutely amazing, my friend. Lovely. So now, my friends, uh, this is really good. It looks really off white. So what I'm gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of eggs right in there. And don't forget, my friends, I need to weigh my flour. I'm gonna weigh my flour. And of course, I'm going to use 250 grams of flour. So now I'm going to weigh that, you know, on my lovely scale. I need just 250 grams of my flour. Of course, I'm using a white flour, you know. So I'm going to pop that one, you know right in there there's 250 grams I need my friends I'm gonna weigh that now oh that's really over so I'm gonna yeah that's all right now my friends so that's 250 grams of flour so what I'm gonna do now my friends I'm going to add a little bit of flour straight into our lovely mixture. You know what I mean, my friend? We want to make something amazing, so we don't want to, you know, ruin our stuff. So I'm going to pop a little bit of flour right in there, you know. And of course, my friend, I'm going to use my lovely spatula. To mix everything together you know I'm gonna bring that together with my spatula quickly it's gonna be absolutely amazing my friends so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna quickly grab the spatula so I'm gonna use that one to uh, you know scoop that out So I'm gonna beat everything together. You can see my friends, nice and lovely. Look at that, it's really amazing. Absolutely sensational. So now I'm gonna allow that to rest for some time. And I'm gonna add our lovely vanilla flavor. I'm just gonna add about, you know, one tablespoon of vanilla flavor right in there. It's really nice. I love vanilla extra. It's really good. So I'm gonna pop more flour. And of course, I'm gonna add more eggs. And of course, I'm gonna mix everything together with my lovely spatula
Now I'm gonna use my other spatula to scoop that out. You know. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, my friends. I love cakes. They're really healthy if you make them in a healthy way. Of course, I'm making a healthy cake using my car. So my friends, I'm gonna keep, you know, beating that. You know, I want it nice and soft, and nice, you know, and perfect. You can see that, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of raisins. You know, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of raisins right in there. I love raisins, my friends. They're really amazing. Just a handful of raisins, that's all right. Now I'm gonna pop in the remaining eggs straight into my lovely mixture. And of course my remaining flour, I'm gonna pop that in. It's really amazing, my friends. I love it. Now I'm gonna mix everything together with my lovely spatula. Of course, my friends. This is gonna be absolutely amazing and absolutely sensational. Lovely cake. I cannot wait to have it. It's gonna be super, you know, super gorgeous. I love carrot cakes. So I'm gonna use the remaining of uh, the other uh, spatula to, to scoop that out. So now my friends, I'm gonna beat that again. If our eggs are not enough, then of course I can Popping more eggs right in there. Because I need the right consistency when, when I'm making my cake. I already use seven eggs. I believe seven should be enough, but maximum eight eggs. Don't use more than eight eggs. You can use, you know. Seven or eight eggs that right now. So now my friends, I'm gonna use my spatula, you know, so I'm gonna check if my cake is you know watery or tea. Because it needs to drop freely from the spatula, you know. So I'm gonna keep you know beating that. I want it nice and perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep, you know, mixing it with my blender. Yeah, now I'm gonna do. So now my friends, I have to add my lovely nutmeg. Of course, you don't want to mix your, uh, you don't want to forget adding nutmeg because nutmeg are really good when you're making cakes. I love nutmegs. So I'm going to pop in half a tablespoon of nutmeg right in there. It's really amazing, my friends. I love it. So I'm going to pop that one back. I'm going to show you. Look at that, my friends. I'm going to keep mixing my lovely cake together. I love the nutmeg, my friends. This is really good, my friend. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Now I'm gonna pop in my lovely raisins again. So in total, I'm using about a handful of raisins. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I love raisins in my cakes. Look at that, my friends. Super amazing. Lovely. I'm gonna pop my raisins back in the fridge. I make a paddle right back into my cupboard. Of course, I don't want to put my raisin in the fridge. I'm gonna 
Putting down my friend. So you see my friends, I'm using 7x uh, and it's really perfect. 7x on that sequence. Look at that. It's really amazing. Super amazing, my friend. Super sensational. Super gorgeous. Lovely cake. Almost ready, my friends. So I'm gonna scoop that out with my spatula and I'm gonna check it. You can see it's really amazing. Looks, you know, you know dropping freely from my lovely spatula. Not thick, not watery, but really perfect. So I'm gonna, you know, quickly, you know, I'll keep mixing down my friends. And of course, we want to get something really perfect so what I'm going to do I'm going to try my cake and see if it's really yeah that tastes really good yeah absolutely you know it's you know, really uh, healthy because I'm using uh, only fine brown sugar and of course I'm going to add my lovely carrot so it's a lovely cake really healthy cake you know, not a fat cake because I'm using unsalted water, so it's really very nice. Friends. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly, you know, finish up by heating uh, my lovely dish together. Now the mixture is ready, my friends. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn my oven on. I want, I want to preheat my oven, so I'm gonna preheat that, you know. But don't forget, my friends, we we need to add baking powder. So I've not added my baking powder, so I need to add that, my friends. So I'm gonna pop up my lovely vanilla extract, you know, right back to where it belongs. So I still need my flour, so I'm gonna. Set that aside. I'm gonna put that away. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna put my scale back. I don't need that anymore. So my friends, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna turn my oven on, and uh, I'm gonna preheat my oven. You know, I'm gonna preheat my oven to about 180 degrees Celsius, and of course, you know, I'm gonna set my time to about. Yeah. So I'm gonna be using my timer. So I'm gonna set my time to uh, about you know 50 minutes because our cake should be ready in less than an hour. But yeah, because I'm not making a cupcake, so I'm gonna be using a cupcake pan. So my friends, I'm gonna use that, you know. So now my friends, I'm gonna quickly uh, Mix that together. So I'm gonna do now is, uh, you know, I'm gonna use that one. Yeah, and that should be about uh, about seven inches or something. So I'm gonna check it first. Okay. That's about eight inches. Eight inches by four inches. Eight by four. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna you know rub butter in.
So now my friends, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter right into, you know, my lovely cake pan. So now my friends, I'm gonna, you know, rub the butter, you know, all over the cake, cake pan, right in there, I'm gonna rub the butter right in there quickly. You can see that my friends, nice and lovely. Look at that. I'm going to pop that one back. Really good, isn't it? So now my friends. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour right in there. Butter, flour. So I'm gonna move the flour all over. So now my friends, I have my lovely um, cake pan, you know, with butter and a little bit of flour in it. So I'm going to set that aside, my lovely friends. So now my friends, uh, I need to, you know, clean my work surface, looking a little bit shabby. You know, I want it clean. I don't want it dirty. I love to walk neat, my friends. That's our lovely carrot. Of course, when you're making carrot cake and you don't have your carrot with you, you know what I mean? That's not carrot cake, isn't it? Of course, I don't want to forget that, isn't it? It's not going to make sense for me to forget my lovely carrot. I love carrot. Carrot, very good for the tea. You know what I mean, my friends? Lovely. So now my friends, uh, my lovely friends, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly, you know, beat that again, of course, and of course I'm going to add my lovely baking powder now. So my lovely friends, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add, you know, one tablespoon of baking powder right in there. You know. Yeah, one tablespoon right in there, my friends. So I'm using baking powder, not baking soda. I'm using baking powder. So now, my friends. My lovely friends, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use my spatula to mix everything together again. You know. 
you know, I always put my uh, baking powder, you know, at the very end because when I do that, it gives my cake, you know, a lovely. Uh, it makes my cake to rise, you know, very well. Well, if I put it from the very beginning, it's not going to rise very well. So that what I do, I always put it at the very end, and it comes out absolutely perfect, my friends. Really good. I love cakes. Of course, when you're making cakes, you don't want to make it unhealthy. You want it healthy. And that's why you see, my friends, I'm making a very healthy cake. I'm making a cake made with carrot, and of course, I'm using the unrefined brown sugar. Now, my friends, at this moment, I'm done using my, my mixer. I don't need my mixer anymore. What I'm going to do now, my friends, I'm going to, you know, take that out. I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to set it aside. And now, my friends, I'm going to quickly, uh, my oven is very warm now. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly uh, remove that. And of course, my friends, I'm going to try that. It tastes really good, my friends. Really, really uh, gorgeous. So now, my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in my lovely carrot, you know, right in there, you know. I'm not going to put everything what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put some of those right in there. Of course, it's going to be super soft and amazing, you know what I mean, my friends? So what I'm going to do now, we can look at that, my friends. So I'm going to mix it together. I'm going to mix that together, my friends, you know. Look at that, my friends. So now my friends, you know, you know what I'm doing. Now I'm ready to bake my lovely cake. So I'm gonna do now is uh, you know when I put my cake in the oven, my friends, please do not leave this lovely channel. Just stay put for the vlog because I'm gonna be doing the food vlog. I'm gonna explain everything from start to finish, and of course, I'm gonna be telling you the cautions, the precautions to take while you're baking your cake because when you're making cake it's not about mixing your cake when you're baking it is also very important because when you're baking a cake and you don't know how to bake it you're going to ruin your cake your cake is not going to rise in the oven of course it's going to fall apart so i advise you my friends while i put my cake in the oven sit back relax and enjoy my food vlog so i'm going to be explaining everything from start to finish while the cake is in the oven so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop that straight into the lovely cake pan. You can see the cake is not really hard. It's nice and soft. And of course, it has the right consistency. So what I'm going to do now, my friends, you can see the cake is full of carrot. Well, you know what I'm going to do, my friend? I'm going to use... This is what I do when I make my lovely carrot cake. I'm gonna, you know, give it a few taps. You can see that, my friends. I give that a few tap, And of course, look at that. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer my lovely carrot, you know, at the top. Then I'm gonna pop that one again on top. So that at the middle, we're gonna have a lovely carrot. You know what I mean, my friends? It's gonna be super, carrot cake you know when you're making a carrot cake you want to put enough carrot you don't want to add little carrot it's called carrot cake so of course my friends we need lots of carrot in our lovely cake look at that super amazing super sensational my friends super gorgeous look at that it looks really amazing so i'm gonna do now my friends i'm gonna pour the remaining mixture right on this lovely you know <laughs> Lovely cake. I love it, my friends. So I'm going to pop that on it. Now what I'm going to do, my friends. So I lay out my cake. Again, with carrot. It's really amazing, my friends. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to level that. 
look at that my friends it's really full of you know carrot this is what we want when we're making carrot cake you see that my friends really amazing i love it that's what we call carrot cake so you can see it's right on top of it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to scoop the remaining uh, mixture i'm going to pop that you know right there right in there i'm going to scoop that one out and of course my friends i'm gonna you know use the other spatula to uh, scoop that out so i'm gonna grab the remaining carrot so i'm gonna do i'm gonna sprinkle that you know on the lovely cake so now my friends what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mix that again you know i want it full of carrot so that's what i'm doing that my friends you can see that that's really you know sensational my friends i love carrot cake it's really nice my friends so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put that away and now i'm gonna pop my cake straight into the oven that's really amazing my friends i'm gonna pop that straight into the oven my friends lovely lovely carrot cake right into the oven so now my friends what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set my cake you know for 40 minutes and see what's gonna, gonna happen in 40 minutes so my friends do not leave this channel stay connected and you know because i'm gonna be explaining you know everything you need to know when you're making a cake so i'm gonna start now yeah i'm gonna start now that's 40 minutes my friends so i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put that aside i still need my carrot of course i'm gonna use that for you know uh, for garnishing So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain everything again from start to finish. So I'll be right back in just a minute, you know, to explain everything again from the very start to this very point. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. Thank you.
So my friends, I'm back now. Uh, I want to check my oven. Yeah, so now my friends, uh, what I'm going to be saying now is going to be really important because I have 36 minutes more to check on my cake. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I don't need any more, I'll put that away. So my friends, I said I'm making a lovely carrot cake and of course I said from the very start when I, you know, started my, you know, lovely live stream. So I said I'm making carrot cake. And of course, this is going to be absolutely amazing. And the recipes, I need to say the recipes again, because some of my viewers just, you know, joined in. Of course, you know, they might have missed the recipes. I'm going to say that again, you know, from the very start to finish and I'm going to explain the method and of course I'm going to talk about the precautions to take while making cake. So my friends, you know, my name is Francis and this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube. So if you are not joining this live stream and don't yet subscribe to the channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button and of course turn on the bell so you don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. So now my friends, I'm going to explain that, you know, how I make this kind of cake. And of course, when you're making carrot cake, you know, it's really heavy cake. It's really amazing, and of course, you know, very good for the health because carrot is good for the teeth. You know, when you eat carrots, good for the teeth, good for the body, very nice. And of course, I'm using the unrefined brown sugar. You know, when using unrefined brown sugar, it's really healthy. I'm not using the white sugar. I'm using the unrefined brown sugar, which is really healthy. Of course, I use it for my cake, and it comes out absolutely amazing. So now my friends, I'm going to explain everything from start to finish, you know, carrot cake is really lovely and the recipes is really simple. Same way you make your cakes, same way, you know, the difference when you're making a cake, of course, some cakes you need to add milk, some cakes you don't add milk in some cakes. Of course, when you're making your vanilla cake, you want to add milk, so it's going to be very rich in flavor. Of course, when you're making your chocolate cake, you're going to add milk, because of course, even your chocolate contains milk as well. And of course, when you're making a rich food cake, you want to add milk. You want to soak your, your fruits in brandy to give it that rich flavor of your rich food cake. But for carrot cake, we don't use milk for carrot cake. You don't want to ruin it. It doesn't go together. So no milk in carrot cake. Of course, what I do, I add more eggs. Because if your cake is really watery, it's not going to be what we need when it comes to cake making. And of course, if your cake is very hard, your mixture is very hard, your cake is gonna come out super strong and of course, it's not gonna be good. We want our cake to be very fluffy and of course, super moist and super soft. Super fluffy, these are the key words when you're making cake. Fluffy, your cake needs to be fluffy, super fluffy. When your cake is fluffy, it's absolutely amazing, but my cake, it's always super fluffy <laughs> and of course <laughs> when you're making cakes you want it super moist or you want it moist you know it's up to you my friend but of course the very key word there is being very fluffy that's what we want in cake making yes my friends now my friends i'm gonna talk about the recipes again you know uh, I said this is a food vlog. This is a live stream cooking class, you know, live stream cooking channel, and of course, I make live stream cooking videos. <laughs> so now, my friends, I'm gonna explain again from start to finish how I made this kind of thing. Now the cake is right in the oven for about eight minutes. And of course, I want that cake to be ready in, in about 40 to 45 minutes. 
And of course, this is gonna be a two hours video, you know, food vlog. So we're gonna be ending in the next in the next 40 minutes to end our you know our lovely live stream. But of course, then I'm gonna show you our lovely carrot cake. How it's gonna come out, and of course, you know what I mean, my friends. We want our cakes to be absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna tell you again what I did from start to finish now. So what I did when I started. You know, look at my lovely carrot right there sitting on the uh, on the lovely chopping board. <laughs> what I did, I uh, you know you need about seven, uh, about five carrots, five medium sized carrots. That's enough when you're making a lovely carrot cake. But of course, if you use four medium carrots, it's really amazing. It's really you know you know. So what I did, my friends, I washed uh, five carrots. So I'm left with one there. I use only four carrot. I wash four carrot. After washing the four carrot, what I did, I peel the four carrot, and of course, I use my lovely grater to grate the carrot. So what I did, I use you know that very side to grate my carrot. Please do not use that one. If you use that one, you're gonna get circles. Don't use that one because it's gonna make the carrot too watery and a little bit too tiny and of course you know what i mean my friends it's not gonna be what we really want of course you don't want to use that one as well but you want to use that one you want to use that because you're going to get a lovely fine you know grits of carrot so what i did my friends friends you know when you're grating carrot you need to be patient because carrot is not easy to grate of course it takes time to grate your carrot but if you if you if you if you if you watch my replay, you know when I'm done with this live stream, if you watch the replay, you're gonna see how I created the carrot quickly and very fast, you know, in a fast pace. That's how they do in the restaurant, quick, nice and quick. So I did that, and of course, it was really ready in in a couple of minutes. So now, my friends, I created uh four carrot. And I, I set one aside. I'm gonna be using that one later to, uh, to 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 garnish my lovely carrot cake. So what I did after grating the carrot, my friends, I weighed my flour. I set it aside. I weighed 250 grams of plain flour, and I set it aside. And of course, I weighed my butter. But you know what I mean, my friends. My butter is already weighed. You know, it's already 250. So I did not weigh because you know when you buy your sorted butter, it's always 250 grams or even more. But the standard is always 250, you know, you know blocks of butter. So I bought you know one block of butter, you know 250 grams of assorted butter. You know, you know it was right there in the fridge, but it's really hard. So what I did, you know, I put it out there to defrost, you know. And for some time and you know you can leave it out there for about 30 minutes to become very soft so it's gonna be easier to beat with your sugar so what I did I pop my lovely butter straight into my lovely bowl and I added and I weighed my sugar I weighed 150 grams of sugar you could weigh 180 it's up to you my friend I don't want to add too much sugar so what I did also add just 150 grams of sugar that's what I did and of course, you know, added the sugar right in there, and of course, I mix it with the, uh, with the, you uh, know, butter, and of course, I use my hand blender to, uh, my hand mixer, I beg your pardon, and I use my hand mixer to mix the sugar and butter together, and of course, after mixing my sugar and butter together, I, I got a lovely nice, you know, mixture, really off-white. Of course, if you are using uh, your white granulated sugar, you're gonna have a lovely half white, you know, mixture. But if you are using the only fine brown sugar, you know what I mean, my friend, because it's only fine brown sugar, it's brown in color, it's not gonna give you that off white color that you need. What you need to do when you beat your sugar and your eggs, I beg your pardon, when you beat your sugar and, and, and your butter together, what you need to do, you need to check, try it, and see. If there's still some granules right in there, but there are no more granules, I know it's really perfect to make a cake. Mm. 
my friends. But before that, what I did, you know, I beat uh, seven eggs. I I always um, use seven to eight eggs, but it's seven large eggs are enough. Not really big eggs, but a little bit large. But if you are using medium eggs or small eggs, it's gonna be eight. So I use seven eggs, which was really perfect for this recipe. So what I did was to beat that seven eggs with a with a mixer. You can use your egg whisk if you want to, but when you're using your beater to beat your eggs, it's gonna come out perfectly amazing. So what I did, my friends, I used my hand mixer to mix my eggs, to beat my eggs, and of course, it was really fluffy. You know, you know, you when when you beat your eggs, you, you start to see bubbles around it. You know, when you see that bubbles coming out, you know your eggs is gonna be really fluffy. But of course, you don't wanna you don't wanna beat your eggs without bubbles coming out. You want it very fluffy. So of course, that's why I kept beating my eggs with my mixer until it was very fluffy. And when it was very fluffy, what I did was to set it aside. And of course, when I set that aside, what I did next was to keep mixing my butter and sugar together. And after doing that, what I did again, you know, was to add a little bit of egg right into that lovely butter and sugar, a little bit of eggs, and of course, add a little bit of flour right in there. I mix it with my uh, spatula, and of course, you know, I kept beating it again together. And of course, what I did, I had a lovely, you know, mixture. And I repeated that again, same method, a little bit adding flour, folding your flour in there, and your eggs as well. I did that for like three times, mix everything together, and of course, what I did, my friends, I added half tablespoon of vanilla flavor right in there. And what next did I do, my friends? I added my lovely nutmeg, half tablespoon, and I kept mixing it. But I mixed it with this spatula, and of course, I used my uh, hand mixer to keep mixing my lovely uh, cake mixture. And of course, it came out absolutely amazing. I kept mixing it. I'm gonna check what's going on in the oven to see if my cake is almost ready. But of course, it's not really ready. You know, when your cake is ready, you're gonna perceive the aroma from the kitchen and you will be perfectly amazing and almost ready. I'm gonna look through the glass to see what's going on if my cake is really ready. Yes, my friends, uh, the cake is really ready, and of course, I have 24 minutes to check on my cake to see if it's really ready. So what I did, I said I kept mixing everything together, and of course, I really have a nice mixture. Of course, when you're making cakes, and of course, when you're mixing your cake, and you know your mixture comes out very well, what you need to do is use a spatula to check it out. You know, when, when it draws freely from the uh, from the spatula, then you know the cake is ready. You know, the mixture is ready, but of course, if if you mix it and it doesn't drop from the spoon or from the spatula, then you know it's gonna be a really hard cake. And of course, we don't want that, isn't it? We don't want to eat a hard cake. Of course, when you give someone a cake that's hard like a stone, it's really disgusting, isn't it? And someone will wonder, like, what's going on? What kind of cake is that? Cake like a stone? No, my friend. Of course, when you're making cake, you want to make cake that is super moist, super soft, and super fluffy. Of course, when someone so eats that cake, you know, it's gonna enjoy a, a bit of every, you know, it's gonna feel everything about that cake and of course, make, you know, be happy about it and make a lovely comment. You know, gorgeous cake, super fluffy, super soft. I'm not saying cake is very hard. We don't want that, my friend. So now, my friend, what I did was to add my baking powder. And of course, my friends, I told you that you know when you add your baking powder you know at the very last you know stage it makes your cake really rise very well you know what i mean like you want to have a super you know big cake a cake that's really you know full you know and really big you don't want you don't want to make a cake that is is it's not you know it's really flat that is not really you know, not really big you know it doesn't make sense to me so my friends, you know, I'm the cake master. So, you know, when I'm here teaching you, my viewers, how to make cakes, of course, I know what I mean. I'm, 
and I'm making it you know in a perfect way and of course I'm, I'm making it from start to finish and of course I'm not hiding anything I'm saying the real recipes of course there are many recipes of cake but of course my recipe is really you know really the best recipe and of course it's, it comes out absolutely you know perfect when you try my recipe my friends you know what I mean my friends you're gonna get the best result try my recipe and see my friends you're gonna see it's gonna be very tasty cake and of course it's gonna be super amazing you know so many people are eating my cake and whenever you eat my cake they always say oh really amazing really sweet really gorgeous my cakes are the best real recipes I don't hide anything I say the truth I give you recipes my friends I'm not a liar Try my recipes, you're gonna see what I'm talking about, my friends. You're gonna find out that my recipes are really good and really perfect. Try it, my friends, you're gonna find out. So, what I did again, my friends, was to add baking powder. I said that before, we took together. Of course, my friends, add a little bit of raisins, which is sultanas, and that sultanas I added there is gonna give you a little bit of. You know, raisins are really sweet, they have a natural sugar because when you dry, you know, they are dried, they are from grapes, your raisins and sultanas are from grapes. So when they are being dried on the tree, you know, they add their own natural sugar. When you eat your fresh grapes, they are sweet, but not really sweet like the sultanas or raisin. But of course, when these fruits are dry, your grapes are dried on the tree and they are being taken to the industry. You know the factory you know to clean up and of course you know to package them they come out very sweet these are natural sugars no sugar added these are natural sugars so that's why you see when you add your raisins or your sweeteners into your cake it keeps with that natural sweetness that you need that's why you don't need to add too much sugar and you see that's why i added 150 grams of unrefined brown sugar because i was you know i added a little bit of raisins about a handful of you know lovely sultanas I put right in there to give it that natural sweetness that we need so I mix it together with my lovely you know mixture and of course I have a lovely mixture that I brought freely from the spoon and uh, from the spatula so what I did next was you know I I, I have I said I'm not using uh, a cupcake uh, case this time around, what I'm using is just uh, my no, my normal uh, cake pan. You know, if I was using a cupcake, but now the cupcake should be ready. But I'm not using cupcakes. I'm using a bigger pan because the bigger your cake is, the longer it takes to cook. So what I did, my friends, was to um, you know rub butter right into my cake pan and sprinkle a little bit of flour right in there, of course set it aside and what I did I have my mixture which is my carrot cake mixture I'll be right back my friend let me check what's going on so my friends uh the cake is really you know it's growing it keeps growing and it's almost big you know it's almost ready but my friends, uh, I'm going to say this again. Um, I said, when I mix everything together, I set my lovely pan aside and I checked if the mixture was, you know, flowing freely from the, from the, uh, was, you know, if it's flowing freely from the uh, spatula. So I popped the, uh, the mixture right into the lovely cake pan, you know. <laughs> And you know what I did, my friends. You know, I told you, my friends, that I don't wanna, I don't wanna add all the uh, grated carrot into the mixture. So what I did, added, you know, over half of the carrot, but not not everything. I added it into the mixture, and I mixed everything together. So what I did next was to pop that lovely carrot straight, the the, the carrot mixture straight into the cake pan. So what I did, I let a little bit of, you know, mixture, cake mixture in the bowl and I, you know, I took the remaining grated carrot and I pop it all over the lovely cake mixture. Then I 
the other cake mixture and I'll place it on that on that one. So I'm gonna have like a layer, you know, a layer of carrot right in the middle, covered up with another, you know, layer of cake mixture. So I want it really full of carrot, and that's why I did it that way. And of course, you know, when you're making your carrot cake, you want to have, you know, an amazing texture, and of course, you want to make it super soft and super moist and super fluffy, my friends. <laughs> so, my friends, what I did. You know, I gave it a little shake on the floor, I gave it a little tap, you know, I wanted like, you know, to go in and of course, what I did was to preheat my oven. While I was doing all this stuff, I preheated my oven for about 10 minutes. And of course, my friends, when you're making a cake, the temperature is also important. You don't want to use, you don't want to use 220 degrees Celsius for your cake, you don't want to use 200, you don't want to use... You don't, you don't want to use high heat, and of course you don't want to use low, low heat. If you use low heat, what's going to happen, my friends? If you use low heat, you're going to ruin your cake, your cake is not going to rise. You know what I mean, my friends? And of course, it's going to fall. And of course, you don't want to use high heat. If you use high heat, you're going to get your cake burned so quickly. And of course, the inside of the cake is not going to be ready, my friends. So my lovely friends, What's the best method to do while baking cake? So I'm right back, my friends. Let me just check what's going on in the, in the, in the oven. So my cake is, you know, is, is growing. It keeps growing and growing. We have just 15 minutes. So I'm gonna grab a skewer. But I'm gonna check if my cake is ready with a skewer. So I'm gonna use that one to check my cake. I'll be right back, my friends. So now my friends, I'm gonna check what's going on, uh, but now I don't wanna rush. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish what I'm explaining. So I say when I put the cake in the oven, so now it's very important because this very stage, when you're baking cake, you don't wanna make your cake to fall. And of course, you want your cake to rise. You don't wanna make your cake, you know, to be flat. So you don't wanna burn your cake quickly. And of course, you want your cake to be cooked, you know, right in there. You don't want the outside to be brownish and the inside when you're ready. We don't want that, my friends. So this is very important stage, precautions to take while making cake. So this is the food below. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna tell you everything now. So while the cake is in the oven, what I did, I set my timer for 45 minutes. And of course, my cake is right there in the oven for about 32 minutes. So what I did, my friends, you know, I put it safely in the oven. Of course, when you're taking your cake, you need to, you know, take care of your cake like a baby. You know, your cake is like a baby. If if you handle your cake like a bread, you're gonna ruin it, my friends. So what I'm gonna do, I always take care of my cake like a baby. So what I did, I, you know, took my cake like a baby and I put it gently into my lovely oven. Now, my friends, anyone who is inquisitive while making cake, it's not gonna make cake. You know what I mean, my friends? You know, that person is gonna make something called something else. <laughs> so my friends, <laughs> when we're making cake, I've been making cake for so many years, my friends. For over 10 years I've been making cake. 
And I'm always careful. I make lots of cakes, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, and all that. I make lovely tall cakes. So what I do when I'm making cake, I always make sure my oven is very hot, my friends. Super hot. Preheat the oven, super hot. That's fine, my friends. These are the secrets. You don't get it anywhere, my friends. Not everyone's going to tell you this secret. Of course, everyone could mix cakes. Mixing cake is easy. Of course, we watch videos, but this very part, that's why I'm making a live stream. No one's going to tell you this very part, my friends. You're just going to watch videos uploaded how to make cakes, but this very part, they're not going to tell you, my friends. Well, on this live stream, I'm telling you, my friends, the secrets of cake making. This is the very important part, my friends. No one's going to tell you, my friends. I'm not lying. You can watch many videos on cake making. They're not going to tell you this. But well, I'm telling you this secret now. This is the secret, my friends, where you're making cake. We can mix cakes. Of course, we can mix it. Everyone can mix cake. You butter your sugar, your flour, and all that. But baking it is the most important thing, my friends. They're not going to tell you. But my friends, I'm going to tell you the secret. I've told you, my friends, when you're making cake, Handle your cake like a baby, my friends. So now, my friends, we're done with the mixing. So what I did was to gently carry my cake like a baby. And I pop it straight into the oven. Of course, if you handle your cupcakes the way you like, my friends, it's still going to come out fine. But of course, you know what I mean, my friends. When you handle a big cake, we need to be careful, my friends. So what I did, my friends, was to gently carry my cake like a baby and I pop it straight into the oven. But I told you, my friends, my cake was, you know, my oven was very hot. I created my oven. You don't want to put a cake in a oven that is not hot. You can try it, my friends, you see what's going to happen. Of course, cooking is all about experiment. We always try. I've been making cake for over 10 years, so I'm telling you this, my friends. Gently put your cake into the hot oven. But my friends, I've been talking for 40 minutes now. No, for 31 minutes while my cake is in the oven. I've been speaking for 41 minutes, my friends. For, for 31 minutes, my friends, really. For 31 minutes. And I never open my oven. <laughs> I did not open my oven, my friends, because if you open your oven, that's it, my friends. <laughs> I would rather like to check again. I, I'm not done talking about my, my secret. I'm going to tell you the secret again, my friends. Just, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm going to check what's going on. I'm still talking about the food below. <laughs> So my friends, if you see what I what I you know what I, I was talking about, you know, this secret of cake making, of course, this is the most important part. So anyone who misses this part, I've missed everything. This is the main place. So I would advise if any of my viewers have missed this part, you can watch the replay and watch this very part because this very part is very important. Really important, my friends. So my friends, <laughs> I said, cakes have been handled like a baby, of course. And I said, since my cake was in the oven, I never opened the oven. I never opened the oven, my friends. Never. I never opened the oven. I've been making cake for over 10 years and of course, I don't open my oven until my cake is five minutes before time. You know what I mean, my friends? 
When my cake is almost ready, I open the oven. And of course, when I was putting my cake in the oven, I did not bang the oven. I gently close the oven. That's it, my friend. I gently close the oven. I do not bang the oven, my friend. <laughs> and my friends, my lovely friends, I did not bang the oven, and of course, I never open the oven. I never opened the oven, my friend. What I did was to just to look through the glass of the oven and to check if the cake is almost ready. And of course, I'm waiting for the aroma. I want to perceive the aroma. Once I perceive the aroma, then I know my cake is ready. You know what I mean, my friends? Because if I open my oven all the time, you know, air is going to go into my oven. And when air comes into my oven, my cake is going to fall and it's not going to rise. So my friends, that's the secret I'm telling you, my friends. This is the main point in cake making and this is the basic importance of cake making. Not just mixing your cake, but while baking your cake, did you achieve a good result? My friends, wait and see when my cake is going to be out. You're going to find my cake is going to be perfect. I've been making cake for about 10 years and of course I make perfect cakes. I'm the cake master. I bake lovely cakes and of course I decorate lovely cakes. I'll be making cake decoration in the near future right here on my channel. And the lovely cake decoration is also part of my you know, because I decorate lovely cakes, wedding cakes, wedding cakes, lovely cakes. I make lovely amazing cakes. My cakes are really tasty, very sweet. No one eats my cakes and says it's not sweet. Never, my friends. My cakes are always absolutely amazing and absolutely sweet. I love cakes, and of course, I love baking cakes. I love baking sensational cakes, my friends. Super gorgeous cakes. So, my friends, I'm going to check what's going on, and I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much. So now my friend, the cake master is back, so he's going to check what's going on now. So you see my friends, I never open my oven, this is what I'm talking about. I'm the cake master, and I told you my friends, I don't open the oven. Never. Look at this my friends. Three more minutes, oven not open. That's not a joke my friends. If I was making bread, I could just like... You know, let me try to open it. Now, in cake making, do not do that, my friends. But what you need to do, make sure you have, you know, a timer. You know, check the time, time your cake, and of course, use the appropriate temperature. Of course, you don't want to use very high heat. If you use very high heat, you're going to ruin it, my friends. Of course, for those who are baking with pot, you can watch my videos how I make cakes. I bake cake with pot with that oven. It's right there on my, you know, playlist, my cake playlist, you're going to find different cakes made with that oven, you know, that's really fine, you know, you want to make cake with a pot, that's absolutely necessary and fine, no worries my friends. So, I have two minutes more, but my friends, you can see, since I placed that cake in the oven, since 40 minutes, I never opened my oven, I never opened my oven, my friends, this is what I'm talking about. 
when you are with you know a good cook a good chef or whatever when you taste the aroma of your food you know it's ready my friends I can perceive the aroma of my cake now now the aroma from the oven you know I can perceive the aroma from my cake and of course I know my cake is almost ready of course when you perceive something very bomb of course you know your cake is bomb it's not ready you know what I mean my friend you want to make cake that is absolutely you know sensational and gorgeous of course you know stick to the aroma when you perceive the aroma you know it's almost ready and of course my friends I can see through the glass when you have an oven make sure the oven has a glass so you can see through it and see what's going on with your cake of course you don't want to put a cake you know and you don't see what's going on through the glass but when you look through the glass you see what's going on with my friends so my lovely friends you can see I never open my oven and of course my cake is almost ready my friends and I can perceive the aroma so now my friends my cake I use 8 inches cake pan and of course uh, it's almost ready and I'm gonna check what's going on now through the glass again I'm not gonna open my oven I'm gonna look through the glass and see if my lovely cake is ready my friends my lovely friends sit back to last and enjoy thank you very much So now my friends you can see I'm smiling of course if I was making cake and it's not smart I'm not smiling you know what I mean my friends so you know when when when, when you listen to you know stories about cake making you know you want to laugh my friends you know, you know long time ago someone told me told me you know made a cake and of course added water to the cake and of course you know the cake came out you know <laughs> you know what I mean my friends you know, that's not cake isn't it it makes something else adding water to a cake a cake doesn't doesn't it's that's a trial isn't it so everyone wants to make cake everyone loves cakes of course you want to make a birthday cake you want to make a wedding cake or whatever and of course you know cakes are really expensive when you make them up but if you can make your own cakes it's really easy you know what I mean you don't want to buy cake anymore isn't it? if you make your own cake you make you know, you know, your choice, your best taste. You can make any kind of cake you like. Check out my playlist cakes. You're gonna find different amazing cakes I made. So my friends, you know, I put my cake in the oven for 40 minutes. So it means it's gonna be ready in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna add 10 more minutes. I don't wanna open my oven now. So it's gonna be ready in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start it. So what I'm gonna do, my friends. In five minutes, that starts. So you can see, I added nine more minutes. So in five minutes time, I'm gonna check my cake and see if my cake is ready. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna garnish it. I'm gonna allow it to cool down before I pour the lovely cake. I'm gonna check with my skewer, it comes out clean, and of course. I'm going to set it aside. So my friends, in 9 minutes, I'm going to check my cake and see if it's ready. And of course, when you're making cake, no Russian cake making, my friends. Of course, baking a cake is another aspect. Of course, decorating your cake is another aspect. My friends, my lovely friends, I said today, I'm making a lovely kind of cake, but I'm not going to decorate the cake. I said in the near future I'll be teaching cake decorations. But of course, my friends, if you can check out my playlist, you find out that I make different cakes and I've decorated some baby cakes and all that. You can watch that how I decorate baby cakes. But of course, in the near future, my friends, I'll be teaching you how to make lovely cakes, decoration, you know, wedding cakes and baby cakes and all that. Celebration cakes, you know what I mean, my friend. So now my friends, we have 7 minutes more, so in 7 minutes time, I'm going to check my cake, see what's going on, and of course, allow it to rest. Now my cake 
it's really, you know, I can perceive the other man nice enough from the kick. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my kick now. Yeah, I think I can check my kick now, see what's going on quickly. You know, I told you, my friend, I don't want to open my oven too much. And I, I never open my oven since for the 40 minutes. I'm gonna check it now and see what's going on. So I'm gonna use my skewer. I'm gonna quickly check it and quickly close my oven. You know, I don't want to rush it, not me, my friend. Now, my friends, you can see I inserted the skewer right in there. And when I inserted the skewer, you can see my cake is almost ready. And this is what I'm talking to saying, my friends. You wanna you wanna check your cake, you wanna check your cake when it's almost ready. You don't wanna check it every time. My friends, my lovely friends, if uh, if if someone is too inquisitive to check his cake, maybe checking the cake all the time. Maybe you put your cake in the oven and 10 minutes you open the oven to check. Let me see what's going on. In the next five minutes you check again. Next time you check again. My friends, the cake is not gonna rise, it's gonna fall flat my friends. So my friends, my lovely friends, what I'm saying is when we're making cakes, when we're making cakes, let's handle like our cakes like a baby. And of course, we should be careful because we don't want to open our oven all the time. If we do, we're going to ruin our cake and of course, our cake is not going to rise. And that's why my friends, you see, I never open my oven until 45 minutes. And that's what I did because it's safe for me in 45 minutes to open my oven. And of course, when I checked it, I found out the cake was almost ready and I'm safe. If I was opening it every time, every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes, believe me, my friends, that cake is going to be real. It's not going to rise and of course, it's going to be flat and of course, the inside is going to look horrible. My friends, when you check a cake that is not really cooked very well or, you know, it's not really in the right procedure you know maybe someone made a cake not in the right method if you check that cake my friends of course when there's error in the baking you know when someone makes an error in baking a cake my friends if you check that cake my friends you can find out that you know you see some like some lines in that cake like, you know the inside gonna be like very thick and maybe uh, maybe uh, if for example my friends this is a cake pan for example if this is a cake pan my friends you'll find out that maybe the cake at the bottom would be all right and the one at the middle you know could have some 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 horrible lines or some horrible look you know maybe like i see there's an oil in there or something or like a stone or something right there you know like it's ticking something Maybe that one, should be, the bottom could be soft and that side could be thick. And maybe on this other side, you have something that was ready and the other side doesn't really look ready or something, look watery or something. So it's going to look horrible, the inside is going to look horrible. Then you should know, my friends, that there's going to be, you know, that is not cake, you know, you know what I mean, my friends? Then definitely, that, there, there, there was an error while making that cake. So my friends, you can see the steps I took in making this cake was really perfect. It was nice and perfect, nice and amazing, nice and sensational, and of course, nice and gorgeous. So my friends, you know, I promised to make a carrot cake today. But of course, my friends, in two days' time, I will make it something lovely. 
I'm going to make a Swiss roll. You know what I mean, my friends? Lovely Swiss roll. I'm going to make that live on YouTube. You know, lovely Swiss roll in two days' time. Same time next week. Uh, same time, two days' time, my friend. I'm going to make this lovely live, uh, live stream in the how to make Swiss roll. It's going to be a lovely Swiss roll. And of course, you don't want to miss I'm going to I'm going to pop in a lovely jam. Stop it jump into my Swiss roll. And of course, you know what I mean, my friends? It's going to be absolutely amazing. You can check out my video. I made a coconut roll. You can check that one out as well. Check out my playlist. Check out my videos. This is my um, 30 live stream. Uh, over uh, about 30, 35 live stream. I made lots of live stream, my friend. Live stream on chia butter bread, baguettes. You know, I made lots of live stream. Lovely breads. You know, sponge sponge cakes, you know, I mean, like, you know, genuine sponge cake, lovely cakes, cookies, shortbread, you know, I mean, my friend, check them out, you know, watch them, keep watching every day, my friends, lovely videos, you know, I got over 200 videos, my friends, you know, keep watching them every day, they're really interesting, I really, so, uh, this is just for the yummy dishes around the world, right here on this channel. What I make, I make dishes from all over the world. This is from Italy, France, UK, Germany, US, Asia, Africa, Nigeria. Love this yummy dish around the world. But for only Nigerian dishes, my friends, you can check out my Nigerian channel. If you check out my homepage, you're gonna find out I have a Nigerian channel there. The feature channel called Nigerian Food Only. If you want to learn how to make only Nigerian dishes, that's the channel. But right here as well, I make Nigerian dishes, of course, dishes from all over the world. Yummy dishes from all over the world. I make so many dishes and I'll keep making lots of food. I'm gonna make thousands of food right here on YouTube. Lovely food, lovely recipes. There are lots of food in this world, millions of food you can cook and make. So no worries my friends, I'm gonna keep making lovely videos, lovely dishes, you know, I'm gonna keep uploading lovely videos right on YouTube. And of course I'm gonna keep making lovely live streams because my viewers enjoy my live stream and of course I make it lively and of course you know it's a full vlog and of course there's a live stream cooking video and live stream cooking channel and live stream cooking classes. Right here on this my channel my friends, my viewers learn so many things and I get lots of feedback. They try my recipe and of course, I show everything from start to finish. You know what I mean, my friend? When you're watching a movie, you know, when you're watching a movie, they make a replay. And of course, you could be at, the movie could be added for so many years. They make editing and all that. And of course, it come out popularly fine. But well, right here on this live stream, this is not a movie, my friend. You know, I'm making something for you from start to finish. You know what I mean, my friends? You know, I'm making something. For example, I said I'm going to make carrot cake from the very beginning. And of course, when I started making my carrot cake and eventually made something different, it's not called carrot cake. You know what I mean, my friends? You know. And my brother could wonder what's going on. He said he's going to make carrot cake and every day he made something different. But if you check out all my live stream, if I say I'm going to make carrot cake, it's going to be carrot cake, my friend. If I say I'm going to make chiavata bread, it's going to be chiavata. If I say I'm going to make, you know, baguette, it's going to be baguette, my friend. If I say I'm going to make short bread, it's going to be short bread, my friend. I don't lie, my friend. Whatever I say from my thumbnail, if I say I'm going to make cookies today, it's going to be cookies, my friend. And today I said I'm making carrot cake, and of course it's carrot cake, my friend. You're going to find out, you're going to see it, it's right in the oven, it's not magic, my friend. I'm making from start to finish. You know what I mean, my friends? <laughs> so now, my friends, I'm going to check my cake. I'm going to check what's going on in the oven. And of course, I'm going to pop my cake right here on the table. You know what I mean, my friends? I'm going to pop my cake on the table. And of course, I'm going to check if my cake is ready. You know what, you know what I mean, my friends? <laughs> you know, cooking is not easy, my friends. You know, when you're right here in the kitchen, cooking is not easy. Check it out, my friend. Cooking job is not easy, you know what I mean, my friend? You know, I talk for two hours, and of course, I cook for, you know, I cook for two hours right here on, on YouTube. You know, my longest video was the Romanian, uh, Romanian Kozunak. I made for four hours on live stream. Four hours, my friend. 
And now I'm making a cake for two hours. So I'm going to show you what's going on now. Of course, my cake is ready. I'm going to pop it right on the table. You see, my friends, I never open my oven. I open the only ones only after for the five minutes I have my oven. And of course, my friends, the next time I'm going to open my oven, of course, my cake's going to, my cake's going to be ready. So it means, my friends, I use 50 minutes in making my lovely carrot cake. So my friends, I'm going to pop my carrot cake right here on the table. And of course, you know, I mean, my friends, it's going to be absolutely sensational, my friends. I'm going to pop it right on the table. <laughs> This is absolutely amazing, my friend. So what I'm gonna do now, my friend, my carrot cake is ready. So I'm gonna turn up, I'm gonna turn my oven off. I already know it's ready because I already perceive the aroma, and of course, you see, my friends. You see, look at that, my friends. It's ready, but now, my friends, you can see it's almost separating from outside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it just only five minutes. It's ready, my friends. I'm gonna put it back in it. Just wanna show you quickly. I'm gonna put that back for five minutes. So I'm gonna put that for five minutes. So my friends, you can see it took us about an hour to make our lovely cake. So now my friends, you can see it took me about an hour to make my lovely cake. So when I check the cake, it's really you know, sensational and of course it's almost ready. So my friends, when we're making cakes like um, carrot cake, it's good to have a mixer. You know, when you have a mixer, you use your mixer to like, you know, beat your cake together. You know, when you have a mixer, it makes your cake very fluffy. Or if you don't have a mixer and you're using your hand to make your cake or your stick, it's not going to come out probably fine. But of course, people use stick. But of course, you know, you need a mixer. If you don't have an uh, instant mixer, you can get a hand blender, a hand mixer, a big bottle. You can use your hand mixer. If you use that, it's going to come up probably fine, you know what I mean, my friend? You can use that, you know. So, but I have a hand mixer, so that's what I'm using. But of course, you can use a stand mixer. It's going to come up probably fine, my friend. Anyone, that's all right, my friend. So, my cake is almost ready. Of course, I told you, my friends, just five minutes time, I'm going to pop my cake on, on the table. I'm going to allow it to rest. And of course, you don't want to miss the most important part, to see the inside of the cake. Because I'm gonna slice my cake. I'm gonna slice my cake, of course. You know what I mean, my friends? When you're eating cake, you don't wanna eat cake that is hot. You're not gonna enjoy it. You know what I mean, my friends? And my friends, if you wanna check if a cake is really nice, I'm gonna tell you again some of the mistakes people could make when they make cakes. For example, my friends, someone could make a cake, and when that cake is ready, when you call that cake, it's going to break apart. I don't know if you notice that, my friends. When someone makes a cake and the cake cools down and he tries or she tries to call the cake or whatever, you find out that the cake breaks apart. That's not cake, my friends. It means there was a mixture, there was a mistake in mixing and of course there was a mistake in baking as well. Of course, my friends, when you buy a cake in the stores, you, can, you see your cakes, the cakes in the stores are perfectly made. When you buy them, you see they stay together and of course they don't break apart. So these are lovely cakes. But when you go to the cake shop and you buy a cake from the cake shop, you find out that the cakes are very nice. When you call them, they don't break apart. They stay together and of course they stay like a pizza or something. So no one want to buy a cake that when you cut it, it starts to break apart like a crumbs of bread or something. No, my friends, we don't want that neighbor. We want to make cake. When we cut them, they stay together. So when you give someone the cake, it's nice and fluffy. And of course, I'm going to show you the inside of my cake. You're going to see everything and you're going to find out that my cake is perfectly fine, my friends. 
I never made cake that is not on the side. You saw that, my friends. I bought that my cake from the oven, and you saw that. You see how nice and tall my cake is. It's a rose to the very top. That's what we're talking about, my friends. Of course, we don't want to add too much of baking powder into our cake. You know what I mean, my friends? Imagine if someone adds so much, too much of baking powder into a cake. You know what I mean, my friends? You're going to have too many holes. My friends, I said this is a live stream cooking class, and of course, I teach my viewers how to go about you know, cake making and of course, how to go about cooking. Right here, I'm a professional chef, my friends, and of course, you know, I tell my viewers how to go about their cooking. And of course, they used to try it, and of course, they, they give me good feedback, and of course, they tell me, oh, lovely i tried your recipes and of course it's really amazing of course really easy for me to follow nice and easy and of course nice and easy recipe and it was easy to follow easy to make you know what i mean my friends so we don't want to make it that breaks apart so when i brought my cake you saw it my friends so i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring that cake i'll remove that cake from the oven in like two minutes after i'm gonna slice that cake and i'm gonna show you the inside and you're gonna see the cake is absolutely amazing. You're gonna see the carrot inside the cake, and of course, you're gonna see it's fluffy, and of course, you're gonna see it's really amazing. Of course, no one wanna eat a cake that breaks apart. I said that several times, my friends. You're gonna find out, and I bring out that cake, and I pop that on the table. So I'm gonna let, allow that cake to rest on the table, so I'm gonna show you everything, my friends. So now my friends, I'm gonna turn my oven off and of course I'm gonna pop my cake on the on, on the table and I'm gonna show you my cake now. I'm gonna move that cake from the oven and I'm gonna pop that on the table. So now my friends, I'm gonna turn my oven off. So now my friends, you see it took me an hour to bake that lovely cake. Now I'm gonna turn my oven off and now I'm gonna pop my cake on the table. Now my friends, that's my cake. So that's the wire rack. I'm gonna put that back. I don't need the time anymore. So now my friends, I'm gonna show you. That's my lovely cake. You can see that my friends. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna pop, it smells really good, my friends. I'm gonna pop my lovely skewer again. You can see now, my friends, it's not sticky. It's ready, you know, it smells really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up some, I'm gonna show you, look at the carrot right in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one. My friends, this is really amazing, my friends. You see that, my friends. I'm gonna show you again. Look at that, my friends. Nice. Nice and perfect, my friends. Nice and amazing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Nice color. You can see it has the color of a carrot, my friends. Look at that. Same color with the carrot. You know, I'm gonna show you the inside. So what I'm gonna do, my friends, I'm gonna pop that on the wire rack. Of course, I'm gonna tell you again, you need to be careful at this moment. We need to be careful at this moment. We need to be careful, my friends. So now I'm gonna pop that on the, on, on the wire rack. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that on the wire rack. Yeah, that's upside down. I'm gonna invert that. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that one there. And of course, now my friends, it's not yet over. We're still making our cake. 
and the full vlog is still on my friends so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna tell you what to do next my friends you can see our cake is ready our cake is ready now my friends you can see you don't want to put you don't want to put a cake in the fridge you know what i mean my friends you don't put the cake in the fridge you don't put your cake in the fridge you know what's going to happen my friend it's going to be hard and you don't want to do that my friends so you know the best place to keep a cake is at room temperature when you leave your cake at room temperature it comes out properly fine my friends you don't need to put it in the fridge it's going to be hard in the fridge my friend so what i do i always eat my cake at room temperature and of course you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna eat cake you don't wanna keep cake for so many so many days if you keep your cake for three days that's all right much more three days why keeping cake for so many weeks unless cakes with preservative i don't put preservative in my cake my friends it doesn't make sense my friends of course what i do if i'm making a cake you know like if i want to make a wedding cake for example I could just add, you know, brandy or a little bit of preservative, not too much, to preserve the cake. But of course, when you're making a homemade cake, you don't need the preservative. You're making the cake for yourself. So what you need to do is just make it without the preservative. Of course, look at that amazing result. You know what I mean, my friend? Make a lovely cake without preservative, really healthy, and of course, you know, really sensational, my friends. It's nice and perfect. Look at that, my friends. It looks absolutely amazing. So, my friends, you can see the cake is looks, you know, it looks sensational. I love it, my friends. So, what I'm gonna do, my friend, I'm gonna slice that cake in the next five minutes. You know, this is a live stream. Of course, if if I was not live right here on YouTube, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave that cake, you know, to rest for about 30 minutes, you know, and after 30 minutes, I'm gonna slice that cake, and of course, after slicing that cake, I'm gonna enjoy it. Well, because this is a live stream, I don't wanna keep my viewers waiting for long. So what I'm gonna do, you know, when I'm making a live stream, I always look for a means to entertain my viewers and of course to keep it lively. I don't wanna make a live stream and I'm not there. It doesn't make sense, my friends. Why will I make a live stream and you know my viewers are watching the kitchen and nothing is going on? So that's why I don't do that, my love. I keep my viewers entertained when I make a live stream. That's why I call it a food vlog, my friends. You know what I mean, my friends? You know, food vlog. I entertain my viewers, I tell them, you know different things and of course different ways to you know to cook and of course to get the perfect dish i talk about the recipes and the method you know what i mean my friend i make it real right on youtube my friends i'm not fake i'm real if you watch my videos all my videos my friend i'm a real chef i i make real food my friends check out all my videos real recipes real methods i don't lie i don't skip never Everything perfect, my friends. Check it out. Check it out now. Carrot cake live stream. No password, no skipping. Right here on YouTube. For real, my friends. No deceiving, no fake. Real, unreal, I'm not fake, my friends. Everything real, my friends. <laughs> my lovely friends, I love you all. Thanks for watching my channel. Keep watching every day, my friends. Share my videos on social media. Let people know that there's a real chef like me making a real on YouTube. And of course, making real videos. And of course, entertaining the viewers. You know, sometimes I dance, today I do not dance. <laughs> I don't want to dance here for one hour day. You know what I mean, my friends? <laughs> so, my friends, you know what I mean? I'm going to check that out now. I can see, I can give it a few taps. You can see that. You know, look at that, my friends. It's nice and it's, it's not really hot, but you know, it's a little bit cool now. So, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something again, my friend. So, 
I don't want you to miss anything important when I'm making a cake, cake because I'm not gonna say that in any cake video anymore. This is the only cake video I'm gonna, you know, give all the secret in cake making. And that's why, I, you know, anyone who misses this video misses everything. So now, our advice, you know, after this live stream, you can watch the replay so that you can understand everything from start to finish. Share this video is really nice. So now, my friends, I'm gonna tell you again what to do, why this cake is fresh. So, my friends, you can see the cake is almost cool now. It's resting there for about ten minutes. Almost cool. Now, my friends, when the cake is cooling down you will find out that the cake you know start to like you know decrease a little bit you know when it was in the oven and when I bought it up from the oven you will find out that the cake rose very high and in the half you know it rose that way but when you cool it when you're allowed to cool down right there on the table, it starts to like, you know, decrease a little. Don't be afraid, my friends. That's really perfect. That's how it happens. When when it kicks, start to rest. It's you know, it goes down a little bit. And again, my friends, it's gonna free itself from the lovely pan. And of course, my friends, you don't want to you, you don't want to forget you know the most important aspects. You, you don't wanna you don't wanna forget the uh, we 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 want to make sure our, our butter our cake pan is built with butter because if you don't do that, the cake is gonna stick to the pan. It's not gonna come out. You know what I mean, my friends? So my friends, I'll be right back in five minutes to end this live stream. Thank you very much. So now my friends, I'm gonna slice my cake. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I have my pastry brush with me. I beg your pardon, I have my pastry knife with me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash that knife now. So I'm gonna slice my cake. So I'm gonna end the live stream right away. I don't wanna waste your time, my friends. So now my friends, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly cut my cake. You know what I mean my friends? You know I'm gonna cut that cake now. I'm gonna show you everything my friends. So that's my pastry knife my friends. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that one there and of course I'm gonna I'm gonna grate my carrot. I'm gonna I'm gonna garnish my cake with this carrot. I'm gonna quickly grate grate more carrot. I'm gonna use that for garnishing.
So I'm gonna use that for garnishing, my friends. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough, my friends. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pop that one. I'm gonna pop that one here for garnishing. So I'm gonna pop my car up there. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put that away. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna put that away. So what I'm gonna do now, my friends, I'm gonna quickly clean my work surface. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna flip that. Flip that over. So I'm gonna flip that over. And of course, I'm gonna, you know, pop my cake on the chopping board. I'm gonna wash my hand now. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna, you know, show you how my cake is. So you can see my, you know, cake pan is not really hot. So I'm gonna, you know, So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna. It's still it's still very hot, but not really hot. But this is a live stream, so I don't wanna waste your time, my friends. I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna pull down one there. So I'm gonna gently show you. You can see that, my friends. Really nice, my friends. You can see, you know, lovely. Lovely, my friends. Lovely, my friends. So what I'm gonna do now, my friends? You know, when your cake is stick hot, it's gonna break apart if you're not careful. So you need to be careful, my friend. We need to be careful anyway. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna slice the cake now. I'm gonna cut that in half. So now I'm gonna show you. You can see the color. Look at the color there. Lovely. Of course, you don't want to cut your cake when it's hot. You want to make it on to the cold. Well, I'm making a live stream, so that's why you can see the raisins and the carrots around it. Looks absolutely amazing and sensational, my friends. So what I'm gonna do now, my friends. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut that one that way. And of course my friends, look at that my friends. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle grated carrot on it. So I added grated carrot on it for garnishing. You can see that. Look at the carrot in there, and of course, look at the carrot. You know, garnish with carrot. So now, my friends, I'm gonna end this live stream now. So now my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try just a little bit. So my friends, I said, when we cut in our cake, our cake should not be hot, my friends. You don't cut cake when it's hot. You're gonna ruin it, my friend. But because I'm making a live stream, and my viewers cannot wait for another one hour for my cake to cool, and that's why I have to cut my cake. My friends, it's not done this way, my friends. My lovely friends, please 
allow the cake to cool down for at least one hour and of course you're gonna enjoy your cake you can see the steam from the cake i'm not supposed to do that but because i'm making a live stream i will end this live stream in five minutes in the next two minutes and that's why you know i call the cake so i'm gonna show you a baby a baby slide i made look at that my friends absolutely amazing full of carrots and of course you can garnish you know your baby cake imagine if you give you say key he or she's gonna be happy my friend look at that super amazing baby cake i'm gonna try it now lovely carrot cake my friends This is absolutely amazing, my friends. This great, my friends. I'm gonna finish this cake, my friends. Absolutely amazing, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm gonna end this live stream now. So my friends, thanks for watching this live stream, thanks for watching my channel, and of course, thanks for supporting me, supporting me, I beg your pardon. Thanks for your support, my name is Francis, and of course, if I just join this live stream, we already ended, I'm just ending the live stream, but of course, you can watch the replay of how I made this carrot cake from start to finish my friends thanks for watching and of course I said if you don't join this live stream and you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do so by clicking the subscribe button and of course turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Cookie Chef Francis so I made Francis by name and of course this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube and of course making the real making the real videos, making real recipes, real methods and all that. So I'm gonna see you in uh, I'm gonna see you in two days time. I'm gonna make another lovely live stream on how to make Swiss roll. Bye bye my friends, see you in two days time. Don't forget to watch the replay and of course share my video give it a like and if you're not yet subscribed please please subscribe button turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Coco Chef Francis. I remain Francis by name and of course this is Coco Chef Francis live on YouTube. Bye bye my friends. Bye bye.